A strange creature in your nest? When there's a strange creature in your nest, it's almost always a hedge toad. So it's up there? The obvious thing to do is to get a ladder. Hmm, maybe there's a better way? Snoopy, I'm not sure if your booster is boosting. We're getting there, Snoopy. We're going to climb the street and find out who's in Woodstock's next. Woodstock's nest? Where are you? Snoopy? Snoopy? What are you doing up in that tree? Looking for something. Can you see Snoopy? We climbed up here together, but now I don't see him. Beagles don't climb trees. You're right. You stupid beagle. What are you doing climbing around in a tree? Don't yell at him. We're trying to find a strange creature in a nest. You're both crazy. Go ahead and knock yourselves out. I couldn't care less. I found it. There, what do you think of that? An egg? This was the strange creature that was in your nest? This is an egg. How could anyone not recognize an egg? the worst excuse I've ever heard. Some kid on the playground pushed me. I want you to teach him a lesson. I want you to pound him into the ground. Forget it. I'm not going over to some kid's house to beat him up for you. You don't have to. I brought him here. What? This is the kid that pushed you? I can't beat up a little kid. You're my big brother. You're supposed to stand up for me. He's just a little kid. But I'm the home team. Whatever happened to your team spirit? I won't do it. You won't hit him for me? No. Could you get your dog to bite him for me? No. Would you look at him crossly for me? Good grief. Look, kid, why did you push Sally? It was an accident. I tripped on a rock and fell into her. A likely story. Sally, I think you should let him go home. He seems nice enough. He just tripped. It's true. I would never push Sally. I think she's cute. He just thinks you're cute, Sally. Little kids do crazy things when they're in love. What could he possibly know about love? Look here, kid. You better watch your step. Next time you push me around, we won't go so easy on you. Now get lost. Stupid kid. Weren't you awfully hard on him? I think he's cute. Good grief. I can't get up. I'm trapped like a turtle. I'm doomed. So, if you want to be my... Hold on a minute. As I was saying, there's an ice skating show tomorrow, and I really think I could win if I had a handsome and graceful partner to skate with me. What do you say? Forget it. I'm a hockey player. I wouldn't be caught dead in an ice show. Where am I going to find a skating partner? I need someone who has charm and style. Someone with real flair. <laughs> oh well, maybe we'll score points for diversity. Wake up, Beagle. If you're going to be my skating partner, we've got to start practicing. Yes, it's early, but all great skaters get up before 5 a.m. Peggy Fleming did, Christy Yamaguchi did, and you know Frick and Frack did. Come on! All right, we've worked on the Dutch waltz and the Killian position. Next, let's work on our lifts. Now, when I reach you, you lift me up over your head. And lift! 
And let lift me up, you dumb dog! Where do you think you're going? Come back here! I thought you wanted to skate in an ice show! Don't you want to win? Who am I supposed to skate with now? So, how are you with lifts? That's it. I've made up my mind. This year I'm finally gonna send that little red-haired girl a valentine. She's so sweet. I bet she's been waiting for me to make the first overture. This Valentine's Day is gonna be great! That same Valentine must have had quite a sense of humor. Dear little red-haired girl, how are you? Too ordinary. Dear little red-haired girl, happy Valentine's Day. Ugh, too boring. Dear little red-haired girl, evening is coming on. I wish it were snowing huge white flakes and you and I were walking alone holding hands and... I must have a fever! I love you. Phew! <laughs> Look at Charlie Brown. What a mess. Who'd ever want a Valentine like that? Hi, Charlie Brown. Did you give that little red-haired girl your Valentine? I couldn't do it. I mailed it anonymously. Good old Charlie Brown. He's the Charlie Browniest. Why don't you love me? Do I talk too much? Listen, I'll remain completely silent, and it will be there. In that silence, you will realize you love me. Is it working? I've had a profound realization about love. That it's just as simple as liking someone a lot? No, true love is about eliminating the competition. Who, is Schroeder interested in someone else? No, not someone. Something. <sighs> it's woman against piano. Women is winning. Women is winning. <sighs> I can't believe you threw my piano into the sewer. Your piano was my competition. Now you have no choice but to love me. Now I have no choice but to climb down into the sewer. Schroeder? Hello, Charlie Brown. Lucy threw my piano in the sewer. It's raining. Get out of there before you drown. <laughs> I couldn't hold onto the piano. The rain has probably swept it out to the river by now. Let's go. <sighs> I'll bet Beethoven never had to put up with this. <sighs> There it goes! Are we sure that was your piano? Uh, couldn't catch your piano, eh? It floated out to sea, huh? Oh well, if you were to play it now, you'd just strike a sewer note anyway. <laughs> Any other competition I should know about? breathing on me. You're supposed to be in bed. But I can't sleep. Go count sheep or something. Can't you see I'm watching TV? What's the matter with you? Counting sheep is a good idea. Although I feel a little bad about waking the sheep. I hope they don't mind working nights. One, two. Do you find it rewarding to help people fall asleep? Three, four, wait, I've counted you already. One at a time, one at a time. 28, 29, you're going too fast, slow down. Hey, don't eat that, that's my homework. 49, 50, stop milling around so much. 55, 56, stop. What's all this racket about? Be quiet and go to sleep. <laughs> 